The rush sale of Merrill Lynch and Company and the bankruptcy court filing of Neiman Brothers Holdings, Inc. has left many finance professionals worried about their careers. I'm Sarah Needleman with The Wall Street Journal, and with me today is Deborah Marcus of the Gerson Group. Hi, Deborah. Uh, what would be one of the first things that people should do if they are laid off or they're anticipating a pink slip? You know, Sarah, I think what's most important is that people should continually and should have been proactively managing their careers. Unfortunately, we find many um, who have not been doing so. So the most important thing is to develop a strategy. Um, I liken this to really running a deal. Develop a strategy, be creative, and think about how you want to execute. Okay, so what types of uh, employers should job hunters be targeting and what types of positions are most in demand? You know, from a demand perspective, really, um, it's running across the board. Um, we are seeing a lot of demand in the marketing and client interfacing roles. And, of course, there continues to be demand for top talent. So lead bankers are always going to be in high demand. So what types of employers should job hunters be targeting? Well, this is a time, as I mentioned, to be creative. Um, obviously, the top firms are trying to capitalize on the current market turmoil, but there are still sizable hedge funds and boutique investment banks that are also looking to bring on board talent and put out offers to individuals who otherwise would not have been approachable. Now, are there any types of opportunities outside of financial services that job hunters could uh, apply their skills to? Of course, and that's a really good point. Just because one has built or um, spent the majority of their career in financial services, they can clearly look to other growing areas um, where their demand or their skill set, where there will be demand for their skill set, um, accounting, marketing, IR positions are still in demand um, within certain sectors. Any other tips for job hunters who um, just aren't really sure where to begin? Absolutely. As we all know, networking is one of the most important things that people can do. I think people should be very strategic as they think about their network. Um, casting the widest net is not the best way to go. Really be focused. Think about where you want to go and who you want to talk to. And when approaching your, um, your friends or family or industry contacts, for networking opportunities, really ask for advice. Don't approach them asking for a job. People are often willing to give advice and might not be in a position to provide employment. Just how flexible should job hunters be when they're going about their searches? I think the more flexible they are, um, the better position they will be. Um, number one, they should think about other sectors that they could move to. Um, skills in financial services are often transferable. And geography. Um, being mobile is important. Obviously, there's demand overseas in Asia and Australia, and I think that's important. Thank you for coming here today. Thank you, Sarah. I'm Sarah Needleman with The Wall Street Journal, and with me today has been Deborah Marcus of The Gerson Group.